to think about a potential rematch against Cincinnati tomorrow. He told us yesterday he's real worried about this Houston team. He said they slaughtered us the last time they played us. He said they physically punked us, and no other team did that this season. So before he can think about revenge against Cincinnati, they want redemption against Houston, Jim. Yeah, and the two matchups up at Wichita State. Uh, the Shockers definitely had the better of that. As you see, the starters, Houston seniors, are Gray and Devin Davis. You got three senior starters for Wichita State. And Brown and Kelly and Morris. Well, four actually with Fran Camp as well. And there's Kelvin Sampson, who was uh, named earlier this week the American Coach of the Year. But that came down in Houston, so Wichita State won handily in their home debut as a member of this conference. When they went down to Houston, it was their biggest margin of defeat, a 14-point loss to the Cougars. Mike Nance, Ted Valentine, Don Daly will officiate this semifinal matchup, and here we go, boys. A lot of pressure on Kelvin Sampson. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Pressure's off now after they won yesterday to get to Saturday. You got him here. Yes. <laughs> and the Shockers will have the first handle. And right now, I'm a little hesitant here with this long as Houston talk. They go a little bit of in, Jim Nance and Grant Hill. Nice back screen, a lot of motion, and the load up by Mars. Double. Over to Shamit. Nice spin move, and the shot okay. drops. And the Shockers He's sharing done. the basketball, one of the best passing teams in all of college basketball. And around the rim, pretty tough for Shot. Doing the damage, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly with the opening two. And now the Cougars. Loves to go right, something all the coaches talk about, Gray. It can set you up and then come back. Good leadership. And Robinson quick, loves to go to the rim. Driving, coming up short. Ball comes out into the hands of Shamit. Always head up. Rankin passes up the shot, feeds the corner. And that's another <laughs> offensive rebound for Kelly and that's what Kelly does averages 3.1 offensive rebounds per game you have to block them out if you're Houston Grant can't pass up that open jump of what he can really make quick double team down low on Morris sure and a save is made Kelly bounces it off of Davis and I think you have to face guard him when the shot goes up but what a tremendous save there and Man, just the presence of mind to throw it off the leg there. Now we're going to see Davis a lot down the other end. Double D is some player, particularly in that left corner. Shamit with Robinson on him. Shot is blocked. Woo. That was blocked by Brady. Up ahead, Gray. All the balance spins out. Brady gets it back, whips it outside. Corey Davis with the three, no. And tapped around. Nice. Gray on the baseline. Nice job by the big guy, Brady, too. Brady, early on, rebounding. Just an ill-advised pass, though, by Gray. A little confusion there on the post-entry pass. Yeah, expecting a little movement. Step out that lane. Uh, Brady was locked in. I'm going to go with the bun look. If I could play that well, I might give it a <laughs> shot. What do you think? <laughs> might be hard for the headset, though. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it'll be hard on the eyes for me. <laughs> Always go side to side, then love to get it into him. Morris, that is. Too strong and cleared away by Devin Davis. Wichita State, you have to get back. Transition defense is a must. Zach Brown with the steal. Pretty impressive. He's a Houston kid. Zach Brown with the theft. And back comes Wichita State. Here's Brown out to Morris. Whipping it around. Kelly. He likes to get close to the hoop to do his damage, Kelly. Brandcamp pulls up. The front of the rim. All Houston underneath. He likes to put it on the deck. Great looking floater. Zach Brown uses his size against Gray. Houston scoreless now for nearly three minutes. Only one basket so far. That was Kelly on the first trip down the floor. A pretty nice pace, though. Just unable to finish the deal. 
Pin down. And to Brady. Morris behind him. And Houston's on the board. Well, he's going to have a counter. He took away that right, right shoulder. Still pursued it. Shamit. Saw an opening. Whoa. Morris pulled down from behind. I think by Devin Davis there. What a rebound by Morris, but as you said, inside. Now watch this shoulder now. All the way on that side, right? <laughs> He's still... And he still scores. Exactly. So much for the scouting report. It's amazing how lefties, a lot of times, are so dominant left-hand. Exactly. Of course, Morris there read the scouting report. Unable to stop him, though. Davis had a great first half last night against UCF. Hit a lot of mid-range yeah. shots. He's got a great mid-range game. That's Grand Camp. He can go downtown as well as mid-range. Robinson so effective, pushing with speed. Got to contain him. Like Houston has two point guards with Robinson and Gray out there. And White on the floor now. Really nice looking prospect. Gray battles out. Shamit with the board. Shamit so smooth operating things for the shocker. It's so hard to prepare for Wichita State because they have so much depth. Greg Marshall not afraid to get into his bench. McDuffie off the bench. This is a you know, terrific talent. Nice pass. Morris. He's going to be fouled. And you mentioned Shamit's abilities, Jim. That's one of them. Finding people. Anybody posts up, he gets it there. You talk about ability right here. Just a nice little screen to screener. And Fran Camp coming off. Not, not just known as a three-point shooter, but also very good in the mid-range and very impressive off the bounce. Mm -hmm. Chris Kidd went, was at Kansas, too. That's right. Yeah, highly recruited. Subs coming in. Houston brings in Armani Brooks, who was the sixth man of the year in the league this year. Yeah, but good reason, Jim. He's a catch-and-shoot guy. Early break. Not afraid to fade out. And knock the deep one down. And Morris gets that one to go. Nurture coming onto the floor for Coach Marshall. And brings a different look. He's very capable from, from shooting from the three-point line. A lot of pick and pops. Trail of threes. And Nurture comes right in and picks up the foul. You know, Jimmy, a lot of great. I, I, I could have worked on the wardrobe a little bit, but that was my senior year. <laughs> That's all you could afford, probably, <laughs> right? It. But uh, listen, the basketball program is a big part of my life, and I got really into the business thanks to Guy Lewis and the Houston team being the public address announcer and hosting his t TV show. That had to be an amazing time. Oh. Historic teams that Guy Lewis coached. And lifetime friendships off of those teams, too, to this day. There's the turnaround shot by Davis. He's an impressive. And, and, and as successful as you've been, this will uh, test you today. You know, I've never uh, maintained okay, really. a 30, balance. 33 years at CBS, I've never called my alma mater in a uh, football or basketball game. But I, I promise the Wichita State faithful, this will be right down the middle. Well, I know you're very fond of Greg, too, and yes, what he's I been am. able to do. So it's, it's all about these 10 kids. There's Shamit oh. on the run. And a whistle underneath. This kid, you were yesterday watching the Houston game, Bill, and you were really impressed by Corey Davis Jr. Uh, he is a talented kid. There's so many things he can do exceedingly well. Uh, just solid kind of a kid. Fabian White is the one called for that whistle, and Wichita State now gets it back over to Fran Camp. Yeah, they got the offensive foul. You don't like to see one of those that far from the basket. Big wide body of Shaq, a waste. But getting back to Corey, uh, there's so many things. He spots up. Uh, they like to get it in the early where he can shoot it. Just shot fake, step through. I love how he's hungry to score. He hunts his shot, and they look for him. Right. Well, you were a hunter, <laughs> as I recall. Davis weaving through traffic. And now Brooks, again, gives him a big lift off the bench. And he really stretches the D because you got to be honest on him deep. Here's Brooks. Puts it up. And in. But that mixes it up. Known as a deep threat. So the game's tied at six. 
The winner to take on Cincinnati tomorrow for the conference championship. That's a traveling call. That's McDuffie, who was such a big force last year and missed a lot of the early season with a foot fracture. And great ball movement here. And I love how Brooks did not settle. He attacked the closeout. Nice little floater in the lane over the hands of Nurger. He has to continue to be aggressive here for Houston. Sixth man of the year in conference. Austin Reeves back on the floor for Wichita State. They said he's a chatter, right? The coach told us yesterday or last night. Good shooter as well. Brooks got three and he's got two more. How about that? Great extension by the little guy. Nurture flips it around. McDuffie to the blocks. Inside. And that's going the other way. They just can't get him going. Call on Willis. A great weak side help there. Davis coming over, sacrificing his body. And drawing a foul on Willis there. But that's what you need. You help side defense. Great seal inside. And Willis unable to avoid the contact. States turned it over the last three trips down the floor. Nice cross. Robinson. We can get in the lane. Thought about it. Comes you, back out. You knew his dad, I think. Right? His dad was a, was a big time letter, a thousand point scorer, Houston. Good rebound that time by Kelly. Sham it again. Great vision. Always under control. Reeves can pick and pop, too. Ooh, the hole that caused that turnover, Brady. One, one way to stop in the post entry. We <laughs> saw this Wichita State team in the tournament last year. Saw them win a game, and then over the weekend of that first uh, weekend, the second round, they lost to Kentucky in a hotly contested game. Is this, you see a lot of difference. You got so many parts back. What do you see? You have a lot of the same guys back. You have a lot of seniors here. Right. Shamit has improved and gotten better. I, I don't think they're as good defensively. That's the one area, Jim. I think I they're agree. a better scoring team. <laughs> Jelly Pick gets to the rim. This is his game right here. Driving in. Too strong. Zana with the rebound. Robinson is a driver. They really put you back on your feet, too. Got to get back and identify. Good cut. Zana jammed up, double up, and puts it up. No. And he's going to be called for the foul. The second. Stream live, 24-7 highlights, scores, and news free across all your connected devices with the all-new CBS Sports HQ. And right now, it's early in the game, it's just been defense right now for both teams. Neither team unable to get any kind of rhythm or timing on the offensive end. And Did you notice that, like, when you played a team third time? No question. A ACC tournament? I mean, you get in turn. You know everything you were doing. You know everything, exactly. Houston brings out for the first time Chris Harris Jr. and they return Devin Davis. Empty side, not taking advantage. Nurture launches. Front of the rim, Robinson wants to run. Uh, he'll pull back and get hit from behind by Zach Brown. And Zach Brown was hustling to get back, but Robinson did the smart thing. Nothing was there. Kind of pulled up right there and was able to draw a foul. Zach Brown, so important to this team, guards the other teams, the opponent's best perimeter player. And frustrated there with, with that foul. I think these are two even teams. That, that's I my agree. feeling. You know, a lot of being a stallmate. And, and, but both teams are so good scoring the basketball all season. Struggling here early. Yeah, a little out of sync at the start. Wichita State only two out of 11. Clearly the Houston team must be nervous. <laughs> well, they're, they're playing in front of Jimmy. <laughs> but, uh, I can understand that. <laughs> With the jumper. One of the largest donors in the history of that university. 8-0 run by Houston. Leaves keep him busy. I love the ball movement, player movement by Wichita State. Everybody touches it. Duffy there with another turnover. Stolen away by Brooks. 
When Gray's been in, he really hasn't been able to turn the corner and be creative. He's a very good passer off that action. He's playing the best name. Reeves anticipating. Got a break. And the action, Wichita State, now five minutes without scoring. Houston's moved ahead, 10-6 today. It looks as though in a lot of uh, camps, and Jerry's on this too, that Kansas now, instead of being out west as the one seed, moves ahead of Xavier, brings him into the Nebraska bracket under this scenario, and sends Xavier out west with the regional being in Los Angeles. And Xavier took a punch, huh? Yep, they stay on the one line, but uh, it's a big thing for Kansas is the end result of sure. it. Perhaps Davis, they got to win their conference tournament anyway. And I'll stay at this end of the floor. Uh, pretty, pretty darn good look. Both clubs got any decent shots, but a little tightness, the feeling out process. You see it scored now. Not impressive, is it? Those numbers, four turnovers. That's a great offensive team, Wichita State. And credit to Houston. Davis over Frankamp, pulled down by Nurture. Nice shot by Frankamp, staying with him, walling up. It's been seven consecutive empty possessions for Wichita State. Two old-fashioned, get-in-your-face defensive coaches. Reeves. McDuffie with Gray on him. He puts it up from outside. Oh, he may need it to get yeah. him going, huh? St. Anthony's own. Well, you were right. He played so well last year, getting back after the injury. That would be some key to their success. Oh, nice cross. Great drives around them. Wow. And a foul call is going to be on Kelly. Right, well, you were talking about comparing last year's team that we saw versus this year. I think McDuffie's one of the reasons, you know, coming in injured. A shot dropping from three-point land, but... Missing 11 games with a left foot fracture. He just has struggled finding his rhythm. Obviously had two turnovers there early, but what a big shot right there. That could be a confidence booster for McDuffie. Could be the real X factor for them too, Coming in the in, weeks ahead. How do you fit in maybe? Some, some kids have, it takes them a while, a process, accustomed to starting. Now they're coming in and start got to do something well, right? Yeah, you start pressing. You know, it takes time coming back from an injury, and he had a, a pretty serious one, a low extremity one. He, he got banged up in college, oh. too. Dealt with a few foot issues, unfortunately. Yeah, now he gets banged up at night with us. <laughs> and that's goaltending. Nice step and go. When you can shoot it, and people got to hug you, you can set them up. Number 33. It's not Kareem-like, but how about this? Easy call. I love the pass by Big Shaq, though. Wow. Off the one hand, off the dribble, huh? Very impressive. You may be calling these games next year in the NFL. Got that kind of body. No huh? question about it. Just got to figure out where to play him. Shot yeah. drops, and it counts. You got to love Davis Jr. He's so good off the catch, but also can put the ball on the floor, attack the rim, has a beautiful floater, and Kind of lost the ball, regained it, had the concentration to finish with the fact. Yeah, he doesn't have the height that you were talking about, Shaq Morris, but he's got a chiseled body as well. Corey Davis Jr. from Lafayette, Louisiana, to the line for one. Saying Jack kid, not afraid to get on the floor either. And Galen Robinson Jr. comes back in for Brooks. And it's interesting right now that the way the game is being played, Houston prefers to run up and down and shoot a lot of quick threes. There's been a lot of half-court basketball, and the Cougars have been able to, to you know, to dominate thus far. Yeah, great defensive balance. Both teams in transition. So well coached. Nice. Shank's been working on that three. Not afraid to take it. Down to Willis. Well, they are active off the ball, though. There's an awareness for Sham that they are not letting him get anything easy. Brandcamp puts it up. Good hustle. Yep, that was Brown. Back to Brandcamp. Floater, no. And Devin Davis says, I'll take it to the other end. Just keep him in front of you. Robinson. Nice help. That's Shaq blocking it. Corey Davis for three. And what presence to kick it out to. 
open look. Best time to turn the defense either up the rebound or to penetration. Houston has its largest lead. Nine and a half to go first half. Two bodies hit the floor. Ted Valentine says foul on Davis of Houston. Just once you keep a guy in front of you, like look at all the shirt, yellow shirts looking, and that shot block, and now the prisons to kick it out, huh? Step in threes. Whew. The light. Thought about it. Now steps up. That's Willis. No. And Morris with the body is called for that. His first. You mentioned Willis. What a great looking guy. Just pretty good offensive rebounder, offensive moves, and yet he can stroke it. So sends Corey Davis to the line for one on one. Don't miss Scott Bakua and the hit drama NCIS New Orleans. Tuesday at 10, 9 Central, only CBS. So, you know, they, uh, again, this happened in the first game. They had a foul call earlier on Morris. It ended up getting sent over to McDuffie, and now they've switched it back. So Morris has two. Right now, Houston in control without their superstar, Rob Gray, really having a big impact on the game. Just two points for him. Yeah, a couple of free throws. But, you know, he does let the game come to him. He life. does. Some games early in the year. He doesn't force the issue. Kind I of. thought early on in his career he was more of a scorer, looking to score every time. Now he's running that team, really grown into a, a great leader for this ball club. And meanwhile, Corey Davis has 10 of their 20. Eight point run for Houston as Willis ends it by banking it in. Powers his way inside. Yeah, yeah, absolutely some strength at that rim. A little kiss the boot. Here's Davis, hot hand. Nice first check time. Out. Nice checkouts, too. No second possessions. Champ can off the ball. Chemet to America's play screen to screener. Working to the other side and back out to Kelly. He's not going to shoot that deep one. Nice pump. Grant Camp from the baseline. Got some good looks early. Gray wanted it, wasn't there. Now it's outside to him. And Gray unable to connect on the three. That's what Robinson does, though. Just really pushes it, gets you open shots. Ball on the floor, and it's Robinson. Robinson trying to do a little too much there. Sorry, right here. No numbers, pulls it out. Take a little deep breath here. A lot of unsuccessful trips. Now Gray oh. takes off, and it's a call against Fran Camp. Greg Marshall's team is about to take them to the NCAA tournament. For the seventh time at Wichita State. But they're down seven at the moment to Houston in the semifinal. It's a field. Jim has been a lot of bad offense, not being able to take high percentage shots, not being able to convert, and of course, the turnovers, as you mentioned, five turnovers, just too casual, too careless with the ball. Guys trying to do too much. They have to tighten things up here before things get a little too out of control in the first half. A little perplexed, I think, on that gentleman's face. And of course, Kelvin, but you just gotta keep playing. Keep you work playing. Your, you know, make sure you don't give them an easy baskets. Get some rhythm in your offensive schemes. One more for Gray, who has not hit a shot from the field. Two out of three from the line. The senior who led the league in scoring a year ago. Chamath taking off. Chamath stays with it. It's 
squeezes it outside to Willis. He always seems to find something, doesn't he? That's Willis. It's blocked by Davis. Devin Davis tries to chase it down. He'll stay with Wichita State with nine to shoot. A great hustle there by Houston. Davis not giving up on the play. And that is why they're in control defensively, just giving all types of problems to Wichita State. Yeah, Kaiser on the floor there. Hadn't had a touch. Passed up maybe an open look. Good afternoon. Tough entry. Tough, and it got away from Willis. Turnover again. Sixth one already on Wichita State. For a team that is experienced like the Shockers, this is very shocking in a lot of ways. They're not valuing the basketball. And of course, give credit to, to Houston. Ray over Reeves. So I like the call, though. I think he can do damage off the ball with the dribble. He's a little upset with himself. Got a good, clean look. Reeves takes the shot. Flies in. Got it to go. Ooh. Might have been fouled on I that play, too. From the back, I thought so, too. Inside to Gray. <laughs> That's the, Robinson with the assist. Off the ball. A tough combo. Well, these guards can do so much damage. Uh, Should have shot it. Gray almost had the steal. Willis with the putback and a Houston foul. That's where he can do so much damage, Willis. Impact player, that left hand. Doesn't take many threes. You like that last play, Raph. <laughs> Of course, in transition, Robinson just a nice little back door. Of course, Gray able to convert amongst the trees. One of the best guards at finishing at the rim in length. Second foul on Fabian White. So Corey Davis comes in for Brooks. Oh, oh they must know us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Got to be related. Two for one. Willis got them both. Looks like Thomas found a little rhythm with this backcourt, though. Kevin Davis been held in check, not getting those corner looks. Robinson working on Kaiser. Puts it off the glass for two. He's it. He can get anywhere he wants with that speed. How about the pops, too? Put a kiss. Look at Shaman way outside. Yes. Not ready to play. They got to get up on him, Robinson. And Kelvin say, wait. I saw what you did at the other end. Give me something here. Starting to open up a little bit as Gray. Gets it over to Davis. Nice check out. Didn't seal it, though. Saved in the corner on a push-off call. This is where I would love the old force-out rule. You know, one of those, it's like a nickel-dimer, a little cheapy. And right now, Houston matching Wichita State with their rebounding on the glass. Five offensive rebounds for, for Houston as Kelvin Sampson talking to Robinson. But you're right, great effort. And, yeah, that's one of those jobs, you know? Yeah. I think his hairdresser gets closer to him. <laughs> well, Kelvin, I first met him, Jim, when he was at Washington State and was amazed getting that team in the NCAA tournament. His whole career, Oklahoma, goes on to Indiana, and now finishes a career where he is extremely happy. Family loves it. Yep, his family very involved in the program. His son, Kelvin, on the staff. His daughter, Lauren, also involved with basketball operations. Reach in there. As long as that tie stays on, things are okay. okay yeah. right? <laughs> Pembroke, right? Pembroke? Pembroke. Uh, yeah. yeah. North Carolina. North Carolina. I vaguely remember his dad was a coach, if was. I'm not mistaken. Exactly yeah. Exactly right. Zana coming back on the floor. He's got a couple of fouls. One and one for Austin Reeves. 
Monday on CBS, great night of comedy, Big Bang Theory, Man with a Plan, Young Sheldon, and the new comedy, Living Biblically. Uh, it's Monday, 8, 7 Central, only CBS. Boy, did Greg Marshall have some high praise for Austin Reeves. He did, and Reeves, who had a, a second shoulder, a third shoulder third. surgery mm -hmm. this past summer, first 20 games was at six points a game. The last 10, 12 points, so it's doubled his, his production and played well here as of late for the Shockers. Didn't start against Cincy because of senior day. Good player. Great, working on Kaiser. Look at this. Spins oh. around, what a move. So strong. Well, he really had the counter there. Tried to take the right hand away, Grant. That drop step. You can tell by, look at his strength, too. Now, watch that little spin. He knows exactly where the defender is. Kaiser didn't peak on that particular play. Now back on the floor is Marcus McDuffie. They're just waiting for him. He's that unknown quantity coming into the tournament. Yeah, it could be the X factor. Yeah, no question. So Gray suddenly now with nine in the game. <laughs> motion screen. Look at this double screen coming. Good reaction. Defensive. Nice trap. Cut. Grand camp. Oh, and it drops. Well, I know you were good without the ball. This kid can cut. He can move a great pass there by Willis, an escape dribble, and Fran Camp moving without the basketball, as you talked about, Raft, and great concentration, able to kiss it off the glass. There you go. Hey, don't be stealing my number. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna go that far. You ought to work one onions into the game. Oh, here. okay. All right. Well, well hang we got, on. We, we got a on that road. <laughs> little zone look here. Now, a little two, three. Got to find shooters here. Those are Monty Brooks and Gray are the two. Greg was saying this is what he was afraid of the dribble drive, and they got one there. Didn't finish. Ooh, he was ready to unload. Willis. And that's Robinson. Who's a decent rebounder for his size. Almost lost control. Brooks fires it quickly. And underneath, they called on Willis of Wichita State. I don't think he turned it over at all, though. You know, it's just sort of an air dribble. Doesn't really do anything wrong here. Gets rid of it. Never really got control of it. I agree. I don't think he agrees with that. Yeah, Marshall Sentiment. doesn't agree. No. <laughs> <laughs> only, call, th only three guys count. They call that on Shamit, actually. Two shots. His first. Two shots. And Shamit down there battling for rebounds, but interesting, interesting fact about Houston is 318th ranked by size in the country, but they're a top 10 rebounding team in the in, a, in the in the na in the nation. So they have a plus seven rebound margin, and they are battling inside and winning on the glass. He struggles on the free throw line, too. You got to be ready. At the second one. 47% mm -hmm. shooter. Comes to Houston from Nigeria. It's a guy a few years back. I was just Lagos. thinking you had somebody. Yeah, yeah. Really. The dream. It, or was it a dream? It was, <laughs> it was for real. Well, every coach would like to have that dream. Nightmare for other teams. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell them that? The no. Dream shake or the no, dream? I, I came to dream. Can't take credit for it. Here's Fran Camp. Sham it. They've won from out there. Not this time. Willis. Oh, good recovery defensively. McDuffie. Oh, boy. First half is Brooks. He's back outside to Davis. There's Gray. Oh, excellent defense here. Trying to shoot. Davis driving on Shaman. Nice Does Zana 
out for two. He dragged two and nice find. The big guy screening off in a great position by the 10. McDuffie. A little more activity by McDuffie. That's the kind of things we saw last year creating. Shamit's a little gimpy going to the bench. And he's had foot problems throughout his career. That's not good to see at all. Shamit in a non-contact injury hurt that right knee. He was hobbling down the court, came over during the timeout, sitting on the bench now. Definitely was rubbing that knee. No athletic trainer came over and talked to him, and he's right back up. Whether he goes back on, it looks as though he's going to stay on the bench for a little longer. We'll keep an eye on it, Jim. Yeah, he's still limping around a little bit, but he's been rubbing that right knee. And, and Shamit, as you said, Bill, he had a slow start to his collegiate career because of injuries but man is he a smooth operator for this team so he continues to try to loosen it up and that puts McDuffie on the line and the foul was on Zana Zana's third man is on the floor for Houston coming up at and at the half Adam Wally Dana Granger to get you caught up on which teams have punched their ticket to the tournament plus a look ahead to tonight's Mountain West Championship between San Diego State and New Mexico coming up on AT&T at the half. And, and hopefully for Wichita State, Shamit is not out of the game for too long, but he missed two games earlier this season. And Frank Camp slid into that position and did a masterful job. But they will need him here against the <laughs> Today and next team. week, right? Yeah, exactly. Today, tomorrow, next week. Right. Goes right around. The defense puts it up too strong. Off the head of Brown for a moment. And Wichita State clears. Well, you can't let him get to the rim like that with consistency, Gray. He'll finish it. Ooh. Kelly sees an opening and unable to finish it off. Great move, but what a block by Brooks. How about that? Brady does a real nice job screening, holding off. Davis, and a foul call. Boy, he perseveres, doesn't he? Really worked for that particular play. Right here, weak side, Brooks coming over. A nice, clean block as Kelly's going in strong for the slam. And talk about help side defense. And you know, trusting each other and being there for one another. Houston just doing a great job frustrating, continuing to frustrate these shockers. You watch Corey Davis, he likes playing. Oh, he does. Then they like he's into the game. A lot of hustle in that body. Plays great defense as well. He's got great energy. And he leads Houston with 12. That court by committee right here would sham it out. Two, two guards on the floor. A little flex look, and they get it too. Oh, Ooh, nice. Block Ooh. by Brooks, but now, now they say there was contact. A pretty good look from the top. And Willis with that entry, that pinch post. And boy, he led him too. And free for a long time and a little whack. Gets two. So we attended the games yesterday. We're now in our second game today. What do you guys think of this, this league now in its fourth year, the American? It's scary. I mean, there's so many talented teams. Tulane got, even the lesser lights got a lot better this year, which is important. Tulsa, Mike Dunleavy down there. Mike Dunleavy. Big news Frank. today, Kevin Ollie out at, uh, being reported to be out at UConn. That is a, wow. it's a shot. It's, it was a shocker. They extended his contract. Won a national championship. Yeah, a couple know, of years ago. 2014. Oh. 
It's like us when we get home. What do you do first today, right? <laughs> <laughs> the big world, I guess the finances coaches are involved in, Jim. You know, it's a high price poker game. You know, you don't win or people become disenchanted. Robinson on the wing, Brooks for three. You got to love the dribble penetration by Robinson. That set up the open three pointer by Brooks. How could you That's leave how you attack. How could you leave Brooks, right? <laughs> he's, he's a pretty good player. You get it up over the rim, though. See, a lot of teams, they'll just pass around on the perimeter. But right, I love how Robinson attacks the seams, gets into the gaps, that creates the scoring opportunity for Brooks, and he knocks up and shoots it with a lot of confidence. Greg Marshall's team has gone 350 without a field goal, missing his last five. Oh, nice shot blocked by Robinson. Playing all out both ends, which you have to do for Kelvin. Shockers without Shaq Morris on the floor with a couple of fouls and Shamit on the bench still nursing that knee. Oh, well, you mentioned the fouls. Those want to be fresh for that second half, but only two, particularly for Morris. Oh, he owns the guy. Oh, I thought he had him. Brooks. No. And that's going the other way. Called on Grant. Guys, I, I, I must say, we, we're talking about Shamit being hurt. I, I'm, I'm a little concerned. He's sat for an extended period of time. He'll, he'll sit during the half, and you know, you, you hope that he can get back out there and it doesn't tighten up. Maybe they're just being, you know, taking the necessary precautions. Obviously, thinking about next week. That's true. Because if, if he has said something, I totally agree with you. I, I think maybe comfortable at 10, if you're, you know, Greg Marshall. Save him with a little energy, bring back our mainstays. We expect we'll be hearing from Coach Marshall as he heads to the locker room here shortly with a quick word from Tracy. And maybe he can update us on Shannon as Reeves hits them both. And right now for Wichita State, if they can just get a stop and convert, get this thing under five going into mm -hmm. halftime with Shaq Morris in foul trouble and your point guard, Shannon. Struggling Shock. with a sore, sore knee. Shocker's last six points have come from the line. And they try and get something off the defense here. Extend the floor, first time, little trap. Ooh, just didn't seal it on the sideline. Davidson with Wisconsin is another guy that had that shoulder problem. The guard, that three, I think four times it's it's got out. And here he is, this is a great sign. Uh, offense, save him for that end of the floor. Double bonus now, so Robinson with a couple, 36 seconds. So Shamit in for Brown. That's a great sign for Wichita State. Back in the game here. Take a one trip. Don't think. Hold it at this end. Missed them both. A lot of bodies down there. Reeves got hit in the head. He's moving pretty good. Got to get it back to him if he gives it up, though. Ooh, nurture. Is that what they wanted? Now, Houston can take the last shot. Well, that's a, a tough trip. Love to take. Yeah. Could have got a better shot. Yeah. Cougars have the ball in the hands of their engine. First team all league. Gray with three. Takes the three. And it circles out and we reach halftime. Wichita State was held without a field goal the final five minutes of the first half and shot only 27 percent. And yet they're only they're in the hunt here. Yeah. Six behind. The six down. Yeah. They shot a season low 33 percent in the loss of the game at Houston. Mm hmm. All right, let's get some answers. Tracy, over to you. Well, it's just 31 points in that first half. This Houston defense just keeping you out of rhythm. What do you need to get back to doing? 
We got to get Shaq Morris back in the game. He sat for nine minutes and 12 seconds. I think he blew on a guy one time and, and said hello another. But he's on the bench for nine minutes and 12 seconds. The other guys have to step up. Rondo makes one of those two threes he had that was wide open. It's a And he's a 40% three-point shooter. It's a three-point game or even tied. Uh, we survived a, a playing very poorly. We just got to execute better on the offensive end. Stop fouling them down here. And we saw Landry Shamit go back in after bumping that right knee. Are you concerned at all about that? No. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Okay. Simple as that. And he did come out for that last trip down the floor. Halftime in Orlando, 37-31. Because of the defense of Houston. Causing turnovers, a lot of confusion. Blocking shots, holding opponents. Under 40% from the field, doing a great job, Houston, on the defensive end. Now this is why this club is so tough. The dribble drive, they have three guys that are terrific at getting a piece of the lane. Get those puppies organized and drill it. Tag with fly slam jamma. <laughs> Let's go over to Tracy. Jim, as, as good a job as Houston did defensively, the one thing that Calvin Sampson told me is they got to keep them off the free throw line 13 for 13. They could not foul. It has nothing to do with the officials. He said it has to do with us. He said our team are, are fighters, though. We've got a bunch of fighters, and we'll continue to fight down the stretch here, Jim. All right, second half, what are you guys looking for? I want to see Shaq Morris. Shaq Morris had two fouls. He makes too much of an impact on the game. He's got to stay in foul trouble and be effective down low. This is why you're an announcer. He's not <laughs> in the starting lineup. How about that? And wow. I, I was thinking, I was going to say was the too, same thing if you hadn't said it. I was too busy but looking maybe, at the camera. Maybe to rest him a little bit in, instead of getting that extra foul early, you know, give him a few minutes. Interesting. Well, Very Greg, interesting. Greg set to Tracy going to the locker room. How much they need him back out on the floor, but they elect not to open up the second half with him. They're probably afraid he might blow on somebody, you know? I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> nice little pinch. Davis hits a three. He's led Houston in this game. From the start, he's got 15 now. I love how he is just hunting his shot. Mm -hmm. Downtown in the paint, does it all. Sure. Comes right back out to him. Willis doubled up. Nice drag dribble and find. Yeah, finds Kelly. In the paint was blocked. And yet again, it's Willis. I think it, it, we'll see our Brady on the bang, I think. But it's just really a beautiful little play. We'll see how they get him free. And that ability to stretch the D a little with a step back. And that is under a contest. That's pretty impressive. Second call against Brady of Houston. And as Tracy pointed out, the Shockers did not miss from the line in the first half. You know, you look at the back of their pants, it looks like they slid along the ground, doesn't it? <laughs> what do you think? Of it? The, first, the first look here. It's, I mean, I've been looking at that all game. Like, Come on, get the dry cleaner. <laughs> Robinson. Well, not a good chance. Just a little off. No chance for the big man to handle it. Got to know your personnel in that situation. You got it. Maintain your dribble, as Robinson says, my bad. I know. I messed up, coach. In our days, you didn't say, my bad. You got taken out of the game, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's the first turnover in the last 18 minutes of action for Houston. Back to the early minutes of the, of the game. Nice Cabot screen. Looking just fine. Hits the go. shot. Yeah, boy, huge right there. Looking good, feeling good. Must be effective here in the second half. And that's their first basket. Since, again, going back to the five-minute mark of the first half, six minutes. It's the last one, almost stolen. Ray, open, smart. Just knew where his defender was on his left side. Solid delivery. Uh, double, double foul. Not a good one. Yeah, I think Brady's going to be on the Houston side. It'll be his third yeah, Willis from Wichita go. State. And once you go under, you're going to pay for that one. You know, particularly with Shamit, you got to show a little bit bigger. Present yourself, help your guard out. They're coming over the top, and 
you know, a defensive-minded coach, he's not crazy about that performance. <laughs> <laughs> he's running out of eyeballs. Yeah. Can't believe his eyes. All right, drops. So now they bring Morris out for the first time in a long time. Again, only nine minutes of action in the first half of the two fouls. Here's Shaman again. Big step back outside. Brown. Nice hustle by Shamit. Shamit kept it alive all over the floor. He'll launch. He'll hit. Ooh. And the ball finds energy. Shamit with a lot of energy. You're right. Oh, wow. It always gets back to good plays and good players. Now Gray wants to answer. And it rolls off the rim. Chase down. Sonic kept it at this end. Davis. Another one. And just that hustle play, you're right. Paisana provides the lift. Shamit feeling it. That's Ooh. why. Wow. Any question about feeling good? I'd like to open this game up a little bit, guys. Yeah. Eddie Murphy's not here trading places. Feeling good, looking good. <laughs> uh. Both these teams are very good offensively. Oh. Long. Ooh. Gray getting to the basket and being able to get the foul. But nice swing, swing, and Davis with the nice celebration after the shot. Well, he's got a lot of gyrations there. <laughs> <laughs> Shamit, that's a tough shot right there. And the, shoot. the opposing coach is saying, Shamit as well. <laughs> when you don't get up on him. The foul is on Kelly, his first. And tonight on CBS Sports Network, two schools square off in search of a conference championship. Marshall against Western Kentucky, 8.30 Eastern. The 24-hour home of CBS Sports for the right to go to the big dance. Of course, Western Kentucky beat the Purdue team that we saw last week in the Big Ten tournament. Early in the season. That's tonight on CBS Sports Network. Conference USA final. Rebound. Ray had it for a moment. Let's go with Houston. And Zach Brown took that corner jump shot, but Shaq Morris was posting. You know, I like just to get the, the same touch thing. inside. Morris hasn't really touched the ball and been involved for quite some time since early in the first half. Got to feed the big fella. Yeah, they do. He does a great job with that show and recovery. Good zone up in the back. Davis. At that time, pulled down by Kelly. And Shamit, who scored eight points in the last two minutes. He will pin down his screens. They screen him. His little flex look. Grant Camp. Shaq wants that three out here. Not a good angle to get it into him. Morris. Good defense, though. Force him out that far, make it a tough jack. Punch Gray off the ball. This is a tough look. Back cut. Gray. He's got a double dribble. Or a double dribble. And it's amazing with Gray as he gets to the basket. He <laughs> got, might have got away with a little push right there, but definitely a double dribble. But he seeks the contact. A lot of people try to avoid it. He is looking to engage and be strong and physical at the rim. And not lucky there. He didn't call four fouls. One of the reasons he's already been to the line for nine shots. Back screen and a pop. They didn't even handle this ball screen very well. Got an arm bar on Zana? Houston. Oh. Cougars over the Shockers. Look at the AT&T. Best analysis. A little taste of what Landry can do. And he can do it well. Just a little bump over there. This, I think, set the tone. Hustle. They find a guy who puts it all out there, leaves it, and he's active with the ability to get him organized. And drill the three. Terrific talent on or off the ball. 
How were you as a player getting those puppies organized? Were you pretty good about that? Or was, I was, it, good was it just a set shot anyway? Did it not I, matter? I rehearsed it a lot. The ball didn't get there often enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through uh, your college uh, record book the other day. It didn't take you long. Yeah, huh? You still hold some school records, yeah. most attempts. Yeah, most classes cut. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. There's Shamit. Looking for more, trying to get away from Robinson. A little more assertive this half. Grand can. And it come out of his hand. Defended by Houston Zana on the floor. Him will squirt it out. And Gray takes the middle. Head so. up all the way. Good poise. Amazing, Wichita State putting taller defenders on Gray, trying to use that size to keep him out of the paint. I think he could dribble drive on, particularly McDuffie here. Tough shot, Davis. Had to put it up though because the shot clock was running down. It's right back to Robinson. Well, he had an easier save if they communicated to him. Gray using the pick. Davis sets off Houston. A nice job by Shem. If he in the passing lane, the little things that help your club win. With denial. As noted earlier, I think these are two excellent defensive teams. And, and anytime you even just catch it out there, you've done a great job defensively. Reeves comes back onto the floor for the Shockers. Houston turning it over for the fifth time in the game. Season low, eight turnovers in yesterday's last night's win against Central Florida. And Shamit, they got a foul. Another foul. Yeah, on legal screen, I think. Oh, he didn't have to move at all. He has got that going. They're not handling that very well, right? Well, a lot of times the, the ball handler, in this case, Shamit, you, gotta, you can't Start. leave before the screener comes and sets the screen. That's not on Shaq Morris. That's, that's really the fault of, of, of Shannon. Well, no, I guess he was moving a little bit. Yeah. I take that back. Shannon was trying to move, excuse me, Morris moving as the defender was going under the screen. And Morris usually, I mean, so if he fouls, it's usually an impact foul. That was a little small change. And it's his third. Yeah. Another offensive foul going the other way. But they called it on Corey Davis. And that's three for him. Mm. We're calling it tight here today. They'll take sure. Davis to the bench, bring Armani Brooks back on the floor. Yeah. Brooks had a good first half for Houston with seven. And that changes a little bit of the design because Ramos could run the point. And they great play off the ball. See if that continues. Sharp so loves to attack. Chicken arm. They got they got it right. He did. Extended that arm. A little frustration invented. Not nearly a pump. At the end, you'll see this guy. Watch how he spins around. There, there's that chicken arm. That's between the two teams. Three straight possessions ending with an offensive foul. Just when the game was getting a little bit of a flow. Side of track for a moment. No field goal either side for the last three minutes is Gray. Tries to get it inside, comes back out to him. This is the short shot. Well, fortunately, Zana just got his body involved there. Just got his fourth. That's four, yeah. Looked like Reeves on that play came up a little bit. Limping there. Yeah, they could use him too with his ability to shoot the ball. Fabian White returns. He had some foul issues in the first half. A little contact here, a little discard. <laughs> Poises the foul. Would have Kelly the pushed him a little bit. First, yeah. yeah. Shannon lobs it. Houston's there to defend it. And Gray's taken off. Nurger there to stop him. Smart. Ooh. Almost a double two-handed dribble. Already had one of those called in this yeah. half. Good hands. Nothing easy against these two teams. Got to stay at home on the penetration. Got four to shoot. 
Brooks knows it with two. Brooks with one. Got it up in time. Oh, look at Shamble with the check out on White. There's so many little things. Now Reeves. Doubled up. Back out to Kelly. Got it from three. How about that? That wow. doesn't have one for 16. I have. Uh, miss anything? Two for 17 now. Yeah, I think that is. <laughs> Did you measure him back? <laughs> oh. Right now, this lineup, so much length on the floor for Wichita Slate. They can switch a lot of things defensively. Davis. He hasn't really been able to get many larks. That's his game, too, that pull-up. Great mid-range game. Davis with just two in the game. Now Reeves. Cut off by Davis. Reeves looks up, drives in. Dipsy. Oh, 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 oh. How about that with the bad wing and all? A little dribble drive. Two-point game in Orlando. Winner to take on Cincinnati tomorrow. And Houston's going to talk things over. Timeout Cougars. First it was Kelly with a three, and then this move. Reeves with the unbelievable English and finish. Marshall's happy, so is the bitch. Wichita State back in the game. Outside right now, Louisville, USC, Middle Tennessee, Arizona State, the selection show tomorrow night, 6 Eastern on TBS. Our partners for the tournament, and uh, we'll get all the craziness and the madness underway, and you'll have your brackets, and you can get ready to start competing yourselves. I love the buildup and the anticipation to tomorrow night. A lot of folks coming into the day thought Houston was like on the six line for the tournament. Wichita State somewhere around a four. And tomorrow we'll find out on TBS with the selection show at six. Drop set. Brady. Now Brady. Off roll. That's a first basket from the floor for Houston in six minutes. I love going inside with the move by Brady. Going hard to the middle. Get the defender to shift. Get back to that left hand. Just a hard crab dribble and able to finish. He'll be shooting a free throw after the break. The man who has put together this league is Mike Resco, the commissioner of the American Athletic Conference and former colleague of ours at CBS who had so much to do with our presentation of the NCAA tournament and that relationship for so many years doing a fine job fourth year of the league he sure has his fingerprints for the NCAA and reminiscent of Dave Gavitt think about it the commissioner of the old Big East did radio and TV yeah now we got Mike working yeah and look right now according to Jerry Palm projected tournament teams three in from the American that would be these two plus Cincinnati to be one more than projected right now out of the Pac-12 Pretty impressive when you think of it. Very impressive. Like all commissioners, they love to have four. I don't think it's going to happen this year. Or one more. That's what they're always looking for. Yeah, Drop might have that story for the first half when Memphis was up 13 on the one seed Cincinnati, and then the Bearcats came out as a different bunch in the second half to pull away and win by 10. And imagine if they had won, how oh, that would have screwed <laughs> things up tomorrow. Put a lot of pressure on the committee because it's the last conference championship final. And would have been really right up about the time when the bracket's going to be released. You would have had, to, had some scenarios with Memphis mm -hmm. trying to grab a spot and take one away had they made it to this tournament final. Nice entry pass for Reeves. You know, as a big guy, out of a timeout, you've got to know they're going to go inside. So defensively, we've got to be at both ends. Neither big guy defended properly. And you've got to anticipate it. You know the coaches are telling each individual. It's the fourth foul on Brady. So four on Brady, four on Zana. And now Houston will bring in Chris Harris Jr., who's a 6'10 sophomore homegrown talent out of Houston. As yes, they've got some big guys in major foul difficulty. Shamit to inbound. Big Duffy. Wow. Okay. Some talent right there. Like, there it is. Maybe. The light goes on. Good to be silenced. Baby in white. In the paint. Works hard for it. Gets it to go. 
Impressive looking freshman from Atascacita, Texas. Work, great work hard indeed right there. He he will best shot in. Janet now. Uh, Willis in one. How about Shamit though? Yep, set it all up. Great vision on the bounce and being available. So important to bail the guard out. A little slide to the goal. That is just great basketball. Fun to watch. The finish. Pretty simple when you think of it. Just sets you up and Willis pays it off. Harris, who just came onto the floor, committed the foul. So failed to finish off the three point play, but it's a two point game. Duffy really doing a good job. He uh, got backed off a little bit. Gray uh, with the top of the key for three. And afraid the blow by was going to occur. You get the hand up and count on others. Damn it, two defenders on him. Oh, wow, what a move. The exact move on the last play was just able to finish with the left hand. What was interesting, all the bigs were lifted a little bit, so he didn't have to worry about the traffic. It's great. Rebound. And right now, Gray just taking what the defense gives him. A little bit of space there by McDuffie. Gray knocks it down. And the other point guard from Wichita State, Shannon, with a very difficult shot. That's a tough shot right there. Made it look very easy. He's playing with a lot of confidence now. Game comes easy to him. Shannon commits the foul at this end, his second. State in a matchup zone right now, trying to disrupt the rhythm of Houston. And Robinson, the guy that gave in the cracks, too. They don't get it out of ball movement. Nice screen. Right. Over to Davis. And Willis. Crafts with two hands. Three with tie it. Damn it, can do it right here. He does! Wow. He is into the flow right now, and they're giving him space for fear. Not at 54. Outside, McDuffie commits. 16 for Shamit for the game, 13 in this half. Well, you go into the lane a few times, all of a sudden, the fear of God. Oh my goodness, not much space, able to drill it big time with a little nylon. And now he wants the house to get involved a little bit. He certainly is. He's hit four out of six from three. Brand Camp comes in. Morris returns. And Duffy wants to play. I think that's what that's all about over there. Do you see that? I agree. Like I, I got it going yeah. now. Come on, coach. Greg Marshall known for shuttling guys in and out. Keeping guys fresh, he knows McDuffie will probably get back in the game. So he needs to just maintain his composure. But you love when guys want to play. Yeah, That's what you want. There. He's down there talking one of the assistants now. One and one for Gray. And I think it's more about defense why he came out. You know, it was a tough matchup. He's got to play Gray, who can really shake and bake with, all, with the best of them. Obviously, Gray likes to get to his right hand, but more than capable going left. And on that last play, he did just that. You got to play him honest and use your size and length and try to contest him when he shoots a jump shot. And he's got 18 for the game, matching Corey Davis Jr. for top honors. Two pretty good guards going against one another. Not necessarily offense and defense, but trying to put their teams on their respective shoulders. The steps, I think, or they got the, uh, the uh, nickel dimer. Yeah, they got to be on Fabian White. It looked like White kind of sniffed that play out. He anticipated Willis going to his left, and I thought he got elbowed in the face a little bit there, but maybe a little too close to Willis on that on that play defensively. It's the third on White, and it's uh, one and one at this end too. Willis, three for five in the game from the charity strike. Right, right, right. 
Almost got a foul, too. Great show by Shaq Morris. Rain, long range. Yes. <laughs> the show, but not the recovery. Reeves. Fuck. 21 now for Gray. 12 and a half. Nice gift. Back to Morris. Boy, Shaman just got everybody on a string here. Stepping up the defense on this particular end. But his dribble and vision has been extraordinary. A little rest here, but you got to be active. Utah State in that zone right yeah. now, switching defenses. A little different look, too, more of a flat. Got to know shooters. Over Shamit. And the attempt to save into the hands of Shamit. They got five on four, too. Reeves thought about it. Goes inside and Stanley's clobbered. A good foul. Good foul. Fans think it's overzealous. Aggressive, but five of four, take advantage. That'll be the fourth on white, the American Athletic Conference. Semi-final game, Houston and Wichita State in a good one. Jim Nance with Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson, Mark Wolf, our producer, Bob Fishman, directing as uh, we're all braced here on Selection Weekend for a lot of great action in the weeks ahead. What a joy ride it is. Now, these two teams are going to be watching somewhere. They'll be sitting somewhere. And they, what did Greg say? They may watch it here if they play. Yeah, if they're in the Sunday game, they, they know exactly where they're going to position themselves to find out that announcement as we all wait and watch and learn at the same time. Tuesday on CBS, the game-changing season continues. It keeps getting better with every episode. Michael Weatherly in a new bull. That's Tuesday after NCIS, only CBS. The guys, right now, Wichita State only down one, but that first half, 27% from the field. Here in the second half, 63%. I don't think it made a major difference. Gray, who has the last eight Houston points, handles. Press makes you use a little clock. Again, that 2 3 zone. Great on it. Robinson Great takes the lane. Oh. Zana denied and picked off the floor by Wichita State. How about big time? I don't know if Shaq got it, but he was a presence underneath. They had a nice trap there if they wanted to take advantage. Last time Wichita State led. Was five minutes and 16 seconds into the game. Great and Kelly lead again with the basket inside. Terrific cut. Kelly, how about the assist by the big fella? 60 59 shockers. The zone has slowed them down a little bit. Taking away that driving game. Ray. Three, Houston oh, back oh, in front. Oh, wow. Now with the last 11 Houston points, Rob Gray. That is just good coaching right there. <laughs> sure, what, any Cougar would have been proud of that delivery. <laughs> Grand Camp. Trying to drive on Gray. Pretty good D. Back out, Kelly, driving in, left hand, long, but a foul. Uh, Wichita State. I can't miss. I love here with Shaq Morris. He faced up. He knew he was going to get double team. A tremendous find inside. And how about this one? This is deep. They really don't have anything going, even though there's plenty of time on the shot clock. No real cuts, no dribble drive, but talent prevails. And prior to that last possession and attempt there by Kelly, Wichita State had hit their last eight shots. So getting hot at the right time down the stretch for the Shockers. Corey Davis for Robinson. But that doesn't really, even though Robinson's a great driver, the combination of game by Davis can be scintillating for Houston. Well, now you have Brooks, 
Gray and Davis out there on the perimeter against that zone. Let's see if Wichita State adjusts and goes back to a man-to-man -man, uh, defense. And I think you're right. Good call, Grant. Kelly gets the second to go to trim it to one. The winner again to face the Bearcats of Cincinnati tomorrow. Both of these teams split against Cincinnati during league play. A nice denial. Look where you start your offense. Gray driving in. Rebound, Morris. Wow, what a rebound by the big fella. Oh, he really extended himself big time. They show a lot better this time by Zonovan. Kelly with a three short. Gets it back right to him. And banks it home. And the Shockers again are in front. Got to come up with that if you're used to it. Talk about the long rebound off yeah, the three. Yeah, got to come up with that. Because when you miss, you know. A little hold by Kelly on Davis. With the garbage rebounds, you got to get somebody in that area. You got to run that baby down. And just a little too long, but Kelly astute in his observation. Finishes the deal. One and one. And one. For Devin Davis, who's had a quiet afternoon of it. Two points, three rebounds. Former Indiana Hoosier. Senior from Indianapolis. Little offense, defense now, Grant. Gets a blow. Robinson back in. They're going small right now for Wichita State, having McDuffie at the power forward position. A little warning over toward the Shocker bench. Yeah, Greg Marshall was a little confused what that was all about, but here, the one and one. It's his first point since the 12-20 uh, mark to go in the first half. And Tuesday on CBS, American Pickers Mike Wolf. He'll guest star on a new NCIS. That's Tuesday, 8, 7 Central, only CBS. Two for two at the line. So many clubs are going small in the country. And it is a difficult, particularly the small forward, the matchup he has. And, Wichita State now has a lot to offer out there with Reeves, Shamit, Frank Camp. The interesting matchup here, Fabian White Jr. guarding McDuffie. So he's accustomed to guarding someone who plays a lot on the perimeter in McDuffie. And White returns to the floor with four fouls. Shamit around the Morris pitch. Nice look. There's McDuffie. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, guys, I know a Shaq played here in Orlando That's many right. years ago. <laughs> wow, what an offensive rebound oh, slam. Yeah, this Shaq can rattle a few ribs, too. <laughs> His namesake. But what a pass to set up the miss and finish. Davis and Morris comes over to help, but he'll be shooting a couple. It's on Reeves. Again. And this is why they didn't start him the second half. To have him available, no foul problems, but bring it all. Leap the chandelier, big fella. Yeah, he had an issue for a moment there. Where to land? He had yeah. one of his teammates on the floor below. You're right. Spun around that rim. Yeah. Yeah. Lloyd McDuffie. <laughs> Two shots. Corey Davis. Oh, man, that one. Back of the rim and two or three bounces, and it drops to tie it at 65. Teddy talking to the Shaq like he was up there when he was a younger guy himself. You know, Teddy Valentine. <laughs> and the great officials here. Long time NCAA official. Yeah, a lot of big games. Yes, he has. That's the first miss from the line for Davis today. Now six of seven. Rip screen for Shaq. Oh, a fake. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Bang. Yeah, a little arm bar call against Brady. And that was a nice set run there by Greg Marshall. A little rip screen. You thought he was going mm -hmm. to the weak side, but he spun back. Great seal. And Tremendous ball. execution and able to draw the foul. 
ball to the right hand too, right? Oh, the man. correct hand, I should say. Exactly. That's going to be it for Breon Brady. He fouls out. Big guy at 71 percent. Kelly comes back. It's amazing how agile he is at that size and girth. We had him last year when we talked earlier back in uh, Indianapolis and his personality just, man, God loves, loves the game of basketball, loves life. He did, enjoyable. And as you both know, that's the fun for us when we meet these kids in person for a sit down. Once again, back to that zone look. For some deep jacks. There's an open look. Gray. Nice hustle. Sana. Back out to Robinson. Well, I thought Robinson would have gone right down the middle and made something nice pass, though. Goes down the middle with the pass. Sana, no. Offensive rebound on the floor. Tie up. Goes the other way. They left Gray wide open against that they zone. Did. They dodged a bullet there. Got to be careful in that zone. You got to know where the shooters are and have awareness for Gray and for Davis. Duffy coming back in, spelling him on it, on and off. And I think if you went to Tall State, you go back into Shaq Moore. Oh, no question. Or, or the ball screen with Shamit, too. Little button hook they ran earlier was pretty. They may do it again. Uh, here's the back screen to get him. And look how he ducked in there. From behind <laughs> is blocked by Devin Davis. How about that help? Collective defense. Oh, Frank Camp's hurt. So we just got the wind knocked out of him a little bit. Wichita State possession when we come back out of the break. The championship. Camp, you saw him on the floor when we went to the break. Here's what happened. And it looked like as Morris was using him as a screen, there. somebody stepped on Frank Camp's foot. Fortunately, it wasn't the shack. It was. You know, <laughs> fortunately, you know, it, it, it would be back. I think it was Zana. Zana, and uh, look at all the foul problems, particularly up front for Houston. Yeah, having already fouled out Brady, the starter. Zana and White all, also with uh, four right now. Houston had a big lead of nine early in the second half, but there have been five lead changes in the second stanza. Inbound from Reeves. And Shaq has been engaged. He's involved in even that low post play. Ducked himself in. Shamit cradles it, spins out, but it'll go to the line. He was hit on the arm. And what was fantastic on that play, Jim, is Shamit just kind of froze the defender right there, just kind of paused a little bit, and that created an opening. A little hesitation right there, turned the corner. The cup job, too. Yeah. How about that strength? He might have walked a little bit, too, but hey. Did you go to Houston? <laughs> <laughs> we converted him. <laughs> Shamit, so good. Especially in this half. But both guards have played well. It's really great. A lot of guys have contributed in other areas, but scoring wise. One of two. So a three point margin here for the Shockers. Straight up man. Switching it every once in a while. This is where Robinson can be a factor. Obviously, Brooks on the wing as well as Gray. Dribble drive, make threes. Davis. Excuse me, Davis on the wing. And now with four, Gray. Nice. Found a seam and takes it in for two. <laughs> Big time split, huh? What a read. First basket by Houston in three and a half. <laughs> Ponytail and all, the blow by. He's got a little extra gear when he wants it. He does. He's deceptively quick. Good defense. Oh, to Morris. Don't leave him. Great flip there by Morris. Great find by Reeves. Oh, unnecessary, really. 
delinquent in the coverage that far from the goal. And a reach in called on Shamit. That's going to be his third. Right, you got guys stepping up on both ends of the floor. <laughs> I love that play, don't you? Great split and finish with the left hand. And then the other end, I just thought they overplayed this. Uh, you know, you didn't that far from the basket. Play one-on-one. -on -one, stay with your man. Well, the weak side's also got to yeah. come in as That's you true. see Morris rolling to the basket. Although I might... Or they should be there before exactly. when the ball's on the other side, right? But I don't know. Morris rolling to the basket. I don't know if I'd be there either. Uh, yeah, you could see your future <laughs> fading quickly. Uh, Rooks in for Robinson. Ten team fouls on the Shockers. Houston will shoot two the rest of the way. And Gray brings it back down to one. He's got 28, 19 in this half. All right, Duffy on the floor, more of an offensive threat outside. As Kelly takes a seat. Look at this duck in with power. Look at the double quickly. Yeah, whistle on Houston. And right there, Houston doubled on the catch. And Moore still somehow tried to get the ball up. Wow, look at that. And he tries to go away from it, too. That's what made the play. They never sealed the baseline. You've got to make sure he doesn't come this way. You can just see the overplay by Zana both on the high side. I know you think I'm a cougar right now, but that looked like <laughs> a pretty, pretty block. clean block right there by Davis. Again, getting back to that anticipation. And they called the foul, and Davis was there, and Zana was there. They're not sure who they gave it to. Uh, I believe they gave it to Zana, and yeah. that's his fifth. Right. That's going to be it for him. And watch uh, Zana. Was it on Zana or was it on Davis? I, mean, I assume uh, they call it on Davis just because he contested the ball there, but maybe down low on Zana. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I think the more you see that, that is just a great block. Well, they you were right, Grant. Call it on. We're here judging after a couple of looks. So Zana is done for the day. <laughs> And Fabian White comes in to replace him. He's got four. So two big men have uh, exhausted all their fouls, trying to find a way to guard Jack Morris. And Morris has to know they will double-team him on the catch. So take the double-team and try to find the open man quickly. He thinks he's the open man on the double. <laughs> <laughs> he's got 12 for the game, 10 and a half. They have a way to go consistently. Where do you go if you're Houston? I think you got to go to Rob Gray. All Screen and runner. All perimeter. Tough shot under duress. Wow! Oh, and he ties it. <laughs> He's anything but Gray. <laughs> 72 all inside two minutes. They try to play good D on the nice cut by Shaman and a foul. Weak side coverage has been lacking. You got to jump to the ball. Well, what's a, with a guy like that. And what's impressive, Coach? The big guys for Wichita State able to make that kind of pass. Great cut. Well, but great you find. Though? You should be in there. I agree. Whew. Corey Davis with number four. Shamit now with a chance to put it back up to three. I'll tell you, as we get down the stretch here, both teams are playing big. What well, does this speak well for this conference? This game. Look at this. They go the other way now. Gonna call it on Zach Brown. Yeah. Well, you walk the other way. Clock stop. Get a chance for two. Two players from Houston already fouled out. We got five on Wichita State with three apiece. And that right there really just kind of helped Houston. Mm, terrible. Davis to shoot two. You mentioned earlier he's been quiet, but next minute and 47, they can use him. 
foul that problems. That last foul that put Davis on the line was the 50th foul call of the game between the two teams. Now this one, the second one to tie it. It's Morris who clears. Shamit gives it up. He doesn't get the ball screen. Moves without it. They bump. And the duck in. Look at this. Still on a white kick. Kick. Back to 20. Yep, Davis hands it over. He knows it. They have a clever scheme, don't they, as they get that basketball around to the side. And the timing of the duck in, impeccable. Morris has White defending him, and then White has four fouls. And Shamit needs help. Gray comes away with it. He's going to go. It's only Reeves on Pretty. the way. It's to Trevor Robinson, and Houston goes in front. Wow. Great defense on the out of bounds. Get inside, big fella. Grand Camp. Doubled up. Ooh. Now Reeves. Tough shot. Fade away. Rebound. Ooh, down by Davis. Oh, oh, Davis. That kid has to help them. He did big time. It may not be an offense, but a big time snatch. And timeout. Rob Gray with the big steal and the assists. To put Houston on Bearcats oh, tomorrow oh, in the final. It's all in the cards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, Wichita State, you don't run your out of bounds properly. That's what happens. McDuffie didn't really get himself free and set a good screen. Houston with possession. One point in front. 45 seconds to go. Got to go under 10. You can't delay it. 1 4. Ball screen. I would trap this. There's Gray. To White. Wants to give it right back to him. Gray's going to launch it. Gray in front of the rim. Off the glass and a rebound by Wichita State with 30 left. Leave it in the hands of Shamit. Time. Time out. Greg Marshall. That you've got to be aware if you're a big guy playing the shack on Houston. You've got to beat him to the spot. You've got to do your homework early. And everything else, weak side defense, jump to the basketball and be of assistance on any back cut, dribble drive, or even the post-up. Gray is still smarting about that shot he had. He, he had a look, a three, that would have put him up by four, and he, he made it. He's still talking. A lot of guys from Houston like to talk. <laughs> Some <laughs> for a living. living. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You always got Reeves, too, and Frank Camp. If the, anything breaks down with open looks, Frank Camp likes to bounce and hit a floater, too. Shaq Morris has to know if they double team, you have shooters out there. Got to be patient in the post if you big Shaq. Here's Shannon, under 20. Robinson on him. Nice front in the post by White. Back out to Shannon. Robinson smothering him. Nine seconds to go. Reeves, ball on the floor. He calls timeout. They went to him with seven. What a heady play. How about that? They're down to one timeout as Houston is. Mm. 1.5 to go. Seven on the shot clock. The officials just double checking to make sure they got the time spot on. And Kelvin Sampson and Houston trying to put the clamps on the Shockers' possession. Here's what they're looking at right here. The officials by the monitor right now. I didn't see anything move, did you? I think that's what they're concerned I about. I didn't see the clock moving. Yeah, yeah. The clock not you got to go back and see how long that had been stuck at 9.5. They might get a couple more, a couple less, excuse me. And that could affect here with Wichita State runs. You need some a quick hitter here out of this out of bounds, assuming they take some time off the clock.
check in with a stopwatch. You know, the big thing now, taking Houston first here, White did a great job denying that low post up by Shaq. He's got to be alert. He did what you said. Yeah, exactly. Do your work early. Yeah. Let's see what point the, the game clock stops functioning. They're going to put a stop clock. On it right here. Got to be a couple of less seconds. Yeah, two, seven, maybe three eight, seconds yeah. left. Which makes it interesting because you're already running down on the shot clock to begin with. And now you're yeah. down to four maybe. Yeah. Right? You need a quick hitter here if that were to happen with Utah State. Let's assume they take some time off the clock. Mm -hmm. You don't have time to get a play, get the ball in. It's got to be inside. an individual. Yeah, you're right. It's gotta and the other thing is, if you're if you're Houston, you want the ball to go back, right, yeah. instead of forward. That's true. Be somewhere around three seconds. You got to think. Yeah. Okay. So it stops right here with thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, three to four, maybe. Yeah, that, yeah. That's big. Down to three seconds. That changes everything. Back screen lob is something, and then step to the ball, or maybe post up Shaq out of the out of bounds play and, and take away the weak side. You know what I'm saying? Have him post up right and, and go to him right from out of bounds. But, but what I'm saying though is they got defensively you really got to do a heck of a job, don't you think? Oh no yeah, question. Yeah, you just can't permit that direct pass. You're gonna run it down three seconds, so it'll be 6.5 and four. Playing it here. They've adjusted the game clock and now they'll do the same thing with the shot clock. Walk throws, too much three on up there. Okay, three seconds off the clock. Okay, three on the shot clock, three on the game clock. Too much three on. So there you go. It's all set up now for a Wichita State inbounds pass. Four seconds to shoot, Bill. And, and the big thing we were just chatting about. Getting Shaq the ball is going to be rather difficult unless they just fall asleep defensively. So I think it's going to be some sort of a, a quick screen and get Sham at the basketball. And it may be because they overreact to him. Reeves and Frank Camp are going to get the look. Frank Camp was in a similar situation at home against Cincinnati, unable to deliver. And you thought he had a great look, too. It's going to be Reeves to inbound. Shamit's down on the far corner. Frank Camp near the free throw line. And here we go. Spot on the finals on the line. Reeves. Ball stolen by Houston. Wow, what a tough angle. The man. I know what they were looking for. Fran Camp sets his man up, but what a tough catch and finish on that particular play. But it's far from over. No. They'll put Gray on the line. He's 11 out of 13 in the game. And look at Galen Robinson, Jr. It was a, just a, a great late, read. It was a late switch there by Robinson. Looked like Reeves thought Fran Camp was open, but Robinson able to close and get that steal. And, I, and I, that came from the bench, the automatic switch on any kind of an exchange. It was Fran Camp who last weekend had that shot as Gray makes it a two-point game. Had the shot at the end of the game against mm -hmm. Cincinnati to close out the regular season. Missed it. But he had that look on senior day now. 81%. You got to be solid now. And this is the thing now. I would give the foul before they get a shot off at right. this juncture in the game. Shamit with five. Robinson's on him. Shamit trying to wiggle free. Puts it up for the tie. And it's off the mark. Houston on to the final against Cincinnati. And look at Rob Cray shushing the crowd. Oh. And just when you thought Wichita State had the momentum down the stretch, Houston made some big plays. I thought that steal by Gray. And, of course, defense on this last possession and the one before, not allowing Wichita State to execute. Fantastic win. And what a great job by Robinson, too. Yeah, Robinson made two big defensive yeah, plays did. in the last six seconds. Absolutely. But I think he was actually given the foul there half court. You know, and then the ref didn't let anything back off, which was smart. Don't foul as he approached the shooting spot. So Cincinnati and Houston will meet tomorrow. We'll be here 3.30 Eastern time.